Welcome to Charge Heads. My name's Tim. We're here at Caffeine and Machine and we're here for the EV meet that I organised. Let's enjoy. <laughs> So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? That is amazing. So Rusty's here. She's, she's looking a little bit worse for wear. And what a contrast. We've got the V12 Aston Martin next to the Tesla. Noise versus no noise. Rusty's going all right. She got here safely nice and cheaply. It probably cost us about three pounds a day. Still, unfortunately, the aero disc that the missus smashed is still a bit broken. We're still waiting for the replacement and there's still the dent in the door, but 87,400 miles. Still loving it. We've got about 16 cars confirmed on Facebook oh, yeah, and a couple more. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. at the same time. They'll be queuing down the side in a minute, really quietly. Do you want a coffee, Max? It's a lot of water in here. So I've just bumped into Russ and we, was, we were talking uh, about cars just generally. I said, oh, what car you brought? And he said, oh, the Avora and it's electric. I was like, what, what? Can you tell us more about the conversion? This, there must be so much to tell, right? About three years ago, I saw this car Category S right off in um, eBay. It was only the plastic really. Went and had a look at it and uh, I said, take the engine out and I'll buy it. Was he slightly confused that you said, take the engine out? <laughs> Surely he must have been quite confused. Yes. Let's start with the motor and batteries. What motor is in this Lotus? Tesla performance motor. Okay. Which I think it's the same as a rear wheel drive, same, same drive unit. So large driver unit or the Tesla Model 3, no, sorry? Model 3. Model 3, okay. So the 9, 980 motor. That is connected. And that came from eBay. Oh, really? Very cheap, 2,000 quid from a breaker. Wow. They're, they're actually very cheap at the moment. How easy was it to mate the Tesla Model 3 motor to the to straight to the drive? It fits very well. The Model 3 drive unit is really nice because it's got one central fixture at the back. Right. And it's got two very nicely balanced at the front. Where is there any way to see it? Is this the time where we've got to be silent? I think it might be. A minute silence. If, you, if you've uh, followed my build on the electric TVR, the um, DVLA, the V5 is with them. How long did it take for the V5 to get back? Did they ask you for an engineer's report, that sort of thing? No, they sent someone out to right. have a look at it. Okay, and um, you said that they couldn't really see much, obviously. They cause... couldn't see much, no. He's one of these guys that uh, looks at uh, written off cars and things like that, I think. But I think that, that was his job. Yeah. But uh, he was basically looking to see if, I can, if I'd cut and shut it, you know, if it, because you, you know, you mm. can't touch the, the chassis. No, 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 no. And so I'm guessing that you have some sort of engineering background to... Uh... Yeah, a bit, yeah, I'm more an electrician, but... Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Where, where have the batteries gone? Six are in the fuel tank. Right. And the rest are in here. Ah, yeah. nice. What, what size is the battery and what is the voltage in total? It works out about 320, 330 volts. Okay. Um, and what's the kilowatt hour size? It's about... Five. Oh wow! Yeah. So this this will do 200 miles then. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! 200 mile range. I've used about a third coming down from Leicester. Have you weighed it since well, you've done the conversion? Uh, it seems to weigh about the same, but I haven't done anything to the suspension. As you can probably see it's not it's not sat down. How does it feel with? Oh, I suppose if it's a similar right. weight. Yeah, it feels alright. Because I mean, being a V6 in there originally. Yeah, I think it was a bit, bit of a heavy lump. This is amazing, Russ, and I'm so so glad you brought it. I really appreciate you, you know. Uh, that you did spot the uh, Charge Heads UK EV Meet. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> there we go. Obviously, that's a Jaguar the, one, by the way. And then under there will be the yeah. DC part. I won't take it out, it's not my car. <laughs> there we go. Just to clarify, you've, you've, done, you've done it all yourself. Is there any part of the. No, so you've done it literally all yourself. Okay, no, that's good. Well, do you know, how did they make it? Because obviously battery box is so important from a safety point of view. I basically got all the batteries out and got it all measured up. And to be honest, once again, everything's so bloody tight. As you can see, they just fit in. Yeah, Literally just wow. Fit in. I don't know if you've got time, because I know you have to shoot off fairly early, but is it all right if you take it out up the road in one? Yeah. 
I say in one. Yeah. In this one, there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. What made you do it? Is it because you had a test and you thought, do you know what, I want to build an exciting electric car? I just fancied something a little bit bigger with more range than my lease. Okay. I've got the test to drive around it, but it's not the same sort of thing, you know? Try it. You pull it towards you and go forward, or pull it towards you and go away. It's just not a gearbox, it's a switch. Oh, wow, yeah, nice. Okay. It's leaf. It's leaf, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Brilliant. Russ, so glad you came. <laughs> Thanks, Russ, for That's taking right. us for a spin. This is in chill mode, by the way. Put it in normal mode, but uh, it's this uh, ground. It, it, I tell you what, it spins its wheels really easily. I'm sure it does. It's like any kind of a limited slip diff. It's, no, no, no. It's um, electronic, isn't it? It just finds the group where it's. do sell one, but I'm not yeah. paying a thousand quid. It's, I mean, it's not cheap. I'm not racing it, you know, so I didn't bother. No, sure. Have you got the regen set yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, it's full Tesla regen. Yeah. Is this your? Is this your daily? I mean, how often do you drive it? I'm still proving it, and this is a proving run today because I, I don't really know what mileage I'm going to do, especially with the heater on. Yeah. That's another thing we didn't mention, that's a Mitsubishi heater. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's so many questions, as I said before, <laughs> us. If Elon were to hear that there was an electric Avora, yeah. I think his uh, ears would prick up with it. Johnny Smith on the Late Break Show, I don't know if you watch his channel, but he said some mm. of the best cars people don't know about. I love the driver, drivability of this. Yeah, and it, it, feels, it, it, it drives it? and handles very well and steers very well. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's typically Lotus. You can tell by sitting in the passenger seat that not only the, com the comfort, the ride is very good, but the balance does feel very good as well. There we have it. Um, the Lotus Evora Electric. Unbelievable. Russ. I'm speechless. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm, I really need to it's check fun. out it's your other ones. Yeah, yeah, very fun. Thank you. No. So how did you how did you get the? Uh, so you won't be on camera. So how did you how did you get the uh, how did you get the uh, different light shows on it? <laughs> uh, I just went on the internet and downloaded them. Oh, okay. So how easy is that to do? Really easy. Really. Really. Easy. You're gonna have to show me. Yeah. I'll send you the link. Yeah, yeah, no, defo. So I thought all the, the light shows were, you know, symphonies of music, but actually they can be trance tracks as well. I think we need a drum and bass one with a dirty B line. Yeah. Look at this. This is an absolute beauty of a modified Tesla. And thank you for Mermaid Tesla bringing it down. Unfortunately, she's a bit camera shy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you around her. Now, as you can see, first thing that stands out is the wrap. And uh, I've got a list of the mods here, so I want to make sure that we're got, getting the right shout outs. So this wrap was done by Premier Auto Cosmetics. It's been de-chromed as well, because all the uh, chrome's been wrapped. And um, see a bit of uh, the front where the Tesla logo was, it's embossed on it as well, which looks really smart. Um, it's all been debadged at the back. Kind of something that's popular at the moment is putting the Tesla emblem at the back there. But yeah, it looks absolutely mint. Love the colour. Love it. It's got the body kit, as you can see. Japan racing wheels. And it looks really, really low. And the reason for that is it's got Forge coilovers on it. And uh, she's actually sponsored by Forge. Uh, but the, yeah, the ride height looks really, really good. But yeah, she was a, ma well, she still is a petrol head. And she's had S3s, she's had, you know, modified ice cars before. But she basically went out in her dad's Tesla and she was sold. And yeah, she's gone the Tesla route like, like many have. And of course, the Sunstrip, it forged there. Very nice. But yeah, that looks great. Now I have spotted that there's a Model Y over there. Um, so let's go and find him. Right, very excited for Titch's Model Y is here today. He's actually got, I think it's about eight Celica GT4s, which is quite interesting. This is not just a Model Y. It's not a dual motor, it's not short range. This is a performance. And you can tell it's a performance because it's got the red calipers down at the bottom there. Another telltale sign as well is the fact it would have a normally a very subtle rear spoiler. Now, that's gone because he's got a big massive spoiler at the back here and body kit. And the body kit has come from Carbon Factory. He's only very recently fitted it. It's probably only been on about a couple of weeks. 
uh, but it really does change the shape of the car. He's also got this rear diffuser at the back here. There's so many different rear diffusers you can get. So really, you know, cost effective ones, you can get real carbon ones, ones with the rear uh, light, which I quite like. But yeah, it really transforms the look of the car because the Model Y is not the best looking car in the world. Uh, but I think Titch has done a fantastic job to make this look awesome, really. The wheels are from Wheelbase. Um, so these are look like a satin black. Um, in terms of the size, they're a 21 inch. Uh, so what are they? They're 27535. So it comes standard with the black trim because you never got the Model Y in the chrome trim. Got the um, indicator covers there side skirts which look nice really kind of go with the rest of the body kit and of course the front splitter and the indicator covers at the bottom there as well he's debadged it and i think tesla looks so much better when they've been debadged i don't know if he's got any other plans but i'm sure we'll be uh, talking to him at another event because um, the next event is going to be at the new caffeine machine that we were at last month and because he's only just down the road, I'm sure we'll, we'll catch up with him then. But there we go, a Model Y, look in the nuts. Dave, Hi. how are we doing? Good. EV Quip Dave, who's helped me with the aero discs on uh, the Tesla and many other things. Continues to, be fair. to help you with the aero Yes, aerodisc. yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Chargehead, for uh, <laughs> smacking it on the curb. Replacement is on, on route. That's good. <laughs> but um, you've, you've modified a couple of EVs now and you've brought the ID4 with you, but you've, you've modified a BMW i3. Yep. Uh, ID3. Yes. The ID4. Are there any other electric cars? That's all we've had so far. Um, we've worked on Tesla Model 3s um, and a couple of other bits and pieces, but but yeah, mainly our own cars would be the ID3. So we had the first modified ID3 in the UK, very good, um, very which good. which loved it. Yeah. Um, then I had an i3 that kind of got as a fill-in car. Yeah. And I loved it. That's and, cool. Um, I did like that. My missus didn't, oh. but I loved it. Uh, I love the fact that you did the wrap on the side of it? Yeah, we did the wrap yeah. to try and to hide make the, the, the yeah, drop. The, the and... weird drop on the i3, if people know what I mean. Yeah, so, we um, did a Maxton lip kit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. and we cool. lowered it. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was probably used Evolve Springs, so the BMW tuners, so that was, that was quite a cool package. So, so what's been done on this particular one? So this ID4? one's been a little bit more to do with practicality because right. of the kind of car it is, yep. and it's, uh, it's my other half's car, so it's less about blinging it up with massive wheels and all that. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. um, Comfort. Comfort and practicality. Comfort and practicality. Yeah, yeah, I suppose sure. the most practical thing we've done is our most recent edition, which is we've you know, utilised... What engine's under here? Oh, no. Ah, no, yes. Okay. We've utilised the, uh, the empty space under here with our new frunk insert. Biggest selling part we do for ID3 and ID4 is um, ah, yeah. these door handle covers. They look cool. So, yeah. as you'll probably know, they come with this horrible, really scratchy, shiny yeah. piano black, yeah. which a lot of people don't like. Mm. So these are a molded cover that fits over. Yeah, it looks It's like 70 quid, set of four. Um, we also do a matching yeah, cover the one for, the, the uh, for the centre console. Nice. And uh, we have our mats, which we sell a lot of, which is just a replacement floor mat, but we do a one piece in the back to cover the whole floor. Right, got so it. So they're really popular with ID3 and ID4 customers and Enyaq. And I love your uh, decals uh, along the side of here. As oh, well. yeah, well, you, know, you have cool. a bit of branding. Oh, you've got to have a bit of branding. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, sure. yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's cool. cool to look around and see the different stuff that's here and, yeah. you know, fair play for, set, for pulling well, it all together. You know, not, there weren't many other EV meets going on, no, and I think, no, you know, sure. it's only getting bigger, right? Haven't seen this Fisker, and I really want to have a look around that as yeah, well. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Yeah. On my last episode, I did cover a Fisker that was down there. It was actually an official UK sales Fisker, red with the Fisker number plate. This is slightly different. The interior is a lot different. Um, so it's got the leather and Alcantara. I do love leather and Alcantara. But I really like the fact that the display, which we'll have a look at in a minute, is it's very similar to Tesla. It's quite, um, it's quite minimalist, but You've got the, oh, uh, the display in the front, which I know a lot of people moan about the Tesla Speedo being on the left, but I haven't got an issue with that at all because I don't look down. I'm, I'm yeah. just looking to the side so I can still see the overall. Do you know what actually I found? It wasn't the Speedo that annoyed me. It was you couldn't see the indicator to remind you the indicator ah, was on. And that, okay. I couldn't believe that was an issue, but it, it did strike me. But I, I mean, like Anthony, you get used it, to it. <laughs> but I love three spokes. I was about to say three spokes. You know, the old Vauxhall Note. Voxel Nova days. Well, I was going to say Sam Aero. Sam Aero. Sab. Oh, Sab, Saab. yeah. Remember Sab, Sab. It's your accent, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a, didn't know what he was talking about. Great day. 
Oh, dogs. I like dags. So that's the end of the EV car meet for Chargers today. It's been great to see no, not only the electric cars here, whether it's the Fisker or modified e EVs, and also the electric Avora. That was amazing. You know, it's great to jump in that. Um, but yeah, no, it's great, great to just talk to, you know, car enthusiasts about cars and, you know, showing what you can do with electric vehicles. I'm going to get out of here now, so uh, I'll see you. <coughs> next time.